By the end of last week, three central banks, the United States, the United Kingdom, and Canada had joined the voice of the International Monetary Fund and our own federal government to repeat the same message. Don't focus on the deficit right now. Focus on getting the pandemic under control. A broader message is also emerging, whether it's rhetorical or substantive, to talk about building back better. And that tone from the top is weirdly aligned with what the grassroots want and need. And maybe it's because we are on the brink of a broad consensus that resistance is emerging. Some provincial governments are already starting to lay off public sector workers, deregulating care, and incomprehensibly increasing class size amidst a, pand a pandemic. And the prioritizing of cost cutting is just plain weird, given that the deficit argument has recently lost its teeth and federal firepower is on its way if you actually advance public supports. But there is a deeper take and a newer hot take on how to nix more public supports. And that's that the Build Back Better agenda is globalist and it is intending to give governments too much power and the subtext there is it's going to take power away from you. Now, just stop and think about this. Whose interest does it serve? When you're arguing against more childcare, against better long-term care, against more paid sick days during a pandemic, against a living wage, yeah, you got it. It's about consolidating the power of the powerful. And it stops the notion that things could get better for those without power. The battle of the narratives is just beginning. It's about what and who governments is for. And it's not just about storytelling because the story that wins is going to shape the future for workers.